The most popular actor in Mexico these days, Eugenio Derbez, has been making inroads with American audiences with films like One Eye Audition 4, How to Be a Latin Lover, and Overboard. Overboard? No, the first one. <laughs> Film critic Chuck Kaplinski recently sat down to talk with him about his latest movie, Dora and the Lost City of Gold. You know the jungle. It's a part of you. But exploring is not a game. And you don't look before you leave. No! I'm okay, Boots. I love Dora. And one of the things I loved about it was, I think one of the most difficult things about a kid's film is making one that appeals to the kids and the adults. And watching it as an adult who watched Dora with his son, all those things that you included in the film, I just really thought that was very, very clever. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what? Uh, uh, the director wanted to keep the essence of Dora, of the cartoon, but at the same time, it has to be different because it's live action. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and for example, it's not the eight-year-old kid anymore, the, the one that we know. Mm -hmm. Now she's 18. But that's good because now it uh, connects better with a broader audience. Now uh, you can bring your teenagers or your grandmother or grandfather and they will be entertained by this new version of Dora. So it's for the entire family, basically. Can you talk a little bit about working with your co-star, Isabella? She, she just seems like a ball of fire. She and, is. and I can't imagine anyone doing the part other than her. No, she's amazing uh, because, uh, first of all, she's Latina. She's a real mm -hmm. Latina. She speaks uh, both languages pretty well. And and, uh, and she's amazing. She, she's 17 years old, mm -hmm. and she already did Transformers, Sicario with Benicio yes. Toro, Instant Family with Mark Wahlberg, and many, many more. And uh, so she's, she's amazing. She's a great singer and a great actress, too. I read an interview you did recently in which you had mentioned that things are changing in Hollywood, and you were referring to the success of Black Panther and Crazy Rich Asians. And Dora seems just perfect to slip in in those footsteps in this slot of time. Hopefully. Hopefully. What are you hoping, other than big box office, that this film accomplishes? Well, first of all, I think it's, uh, it changes a little bit um, how Hollywood portrays Latino on screen. Because, you know, every time Hollywood wants to uh, portray a criminal or a drug lord, mm -hmm. they hire a Latino actor. So Latinos equal to, um, you know, rapists or uh, uh, criminals or uh, narcos or whatever. And now we have the chance, though, to see a, a beautiful movie about a, a great superhero uh, that happens to be Latina, and it's a girl. So I think it, it's also inspiring for for girls and for uh, and especially for Latinas. I also loved how they also focused on learning and problem solving, which is another thing that I think that needs to be stressed as well. I know you moved your production company or set up a production company in Los Angeles. You moved three years ago. Yeah. What was the hardest part of that transition and are you happy with how things are progressing with your company? Well, I'm, I did that because I discovered that I, I was always waiting for someone to call me and to offer me whatever role it was there. And usually it was the gardener or the waiter <laughs> or the cook. And I was like, if I want to change this, I need to produce my own movies. That's why I decided to open my own production company. I was producing already in Mexico. Right. I had my pro production company. I produced my own shows and my movies. But here, it was a different animal, so I was a little bit scared. But uh, I uh, partnered with another uh, pro American producer, so now I'm able to do my own stuff to write my own movies, like Overboard, that uh -huh. we were talking about it, Overboard, How to Be a Latin Lover, Instruction Not Included. So now I'm able to produce my own stuff and to portray a different kind of Latino. Jumping on that, I read that you were planning a Mr. Bean type physical comedy <laughs> and hopefully directing it. Where is that and let's hope that it's out like really soon because it sounds great. <laughs> well, yeah, we came with a very interesting idea of a guy who 
who's living in the, in the, in the Mexican jungle. Uh, we're, there's still a lot of dialects in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And supposedly this guy is really naive and comes from a, a tribe in Mexico and he doesn't speak Spanish and of, of course nothing of English. So he, came, he, he comes here to the US for the first time. So basically he, he can't speak with anyone because <laughs> so it's kind of a Mr. Bean, a Latino Mr. Bean, but we're working on the scripts, hopefully for next year. Dora and the Lost City of Gold starts in theaters this Friday. Sorry, we were talking about milking cows at the State Fair. Chuck and Pam will review that movie tomorrow, and we'll see if it uh, strikes gold with them. I bet it does. I'm going to call it now. I'm 50-50 on I'm not sure yet. We'll see.